Hi everyone, welcome again to the channel. Today I will explain you about SWF in AWS, which is simple workflow service which is used or which provides the programming model and infrastructure for coordinating distributed components and maintaining their execution state in a level way. So we'll discuss about what is SWF in AWS, what is their benefit and practically I will show you how to create it inside our AWS login credential. At the end, I will provide you detailed benefit of this product. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. So first of all, what is SWF? Amazon Simple Workflow Service is a task based API that makes it easy to coordinate work across distributed application components. It provides a simple API calls which can be executed from code written in any language and can be run on our EC2 instance or any of our machine located anywhere in the world that access or that is having internet connection. So using Amazon SWF, we can focus on building the aspects of the application that differentiate it in different manner. A workflow is a set of activities that carry out some objective including logic that coordinates the activity to achieve the desired output. Workflow history consists of complete and consistent record of each event that occurred. Since the workflow execution started, it is maintained by SWF. Each application workflow requires several processing steps, which either executable code or API calls to another service, simple script or human action performs. Amazon SWF enables a developer to manage dependencies, scheduling load distribution and other association with each worker. It allows us to build applications and makes it easy to coordinate the work across distributed components. SWS provides a logical separation among all the components of a project. SWF involves in coordinating various tasks such as managing inter-task dependencies, scheduling, and concurrency in accordance with logical flow of the application. We do not have to manage tasks manually. SWF will do it everything for us. Let's take an example. So whenever we are ordering any component through e-commerce portal, just like Amazon or uh, Flipkart or Walmart, so customer is placing an order and that order will be verified by order verifier or by the team of Flipkart or Walmart or Amazon. Once it is approved, it will show up for card or payment history. So whenever you enter the payment detail or select the payment, it will throw a pop-up message on different payment options like net banking, credit card or debit card. Once you will click on any of the options just like when you are entering debit card detail. So it will show up a message on regular page which we have to enter the card information and once it is done the order is placed. Order is placed on and stood up a message to the warehouse owner or nearest warehouse owner to ship the product and once warehouse owners or employee will place the order for delivery new message shoot up to the customer this is going to be delivered on this tentative timelines it will also store a record completion and once it is delivered to the customer end 
and customer are satisfied with the product, the Android will be recorded in database and that is the process is ending. So this will show up the complete flow of an application where end user is requesting for any product and that product will be delivered to him on different steps. So let's see how we can create it account inside our AWS. So once you log in, just you have to go to the services and click on SWF or you can search it from the uh, simple workflow service. So once you will click on SWF, you are getting two options. Create your own domain and launch sample workflow. So click on sample workflow. It will give you a creating a domain, registration workflow and activity steps, deployment, run and execution and next step is to publish. So it will go through a five different stages. Let's click on get started. It will create a domain and ask the domain name with you. Once you will enter this domain name, it will ask for the registration and once you enter, let me give you here test data so it is registered successfully just have to click to continue so registration process will take a register with a simpler workflow as the activity and downloading the image transferring to sepia transferring it to the grayscale and uploading the s3 is all activity that will be registered individually in addition to the workflow click on continue so you will get a complete walkthrough without deployment if you want otherwise you can deploy it your product on ec2 so if you have your new key you can generate it or you can terminate ec2 instance within a 30 minutes an hour or two hours by this way you can do it once you uh, enter all and click on the acknowledge just click on continue it will jump to how many times you will need that enter one or two and click on continue the that is the final step your instance will be created because i don't want to create it i'm cancelling here So once it is created, you are able to see that instance will be available here and you can perform the task according to your requirement. Because I have cancelled, it is showing here cancelled or timeout. It's terminated right now. So manage domains if you want to manage any domain. Because I have entered because of that it is showing registered and if I did not provide it any detail that will be not available in my screen. So this is all how we can create in and list the services according to our requirement. So let's see about their benefit or SWS feature. So there are five components which is providing the benefit options in SWS. First is scalable. Amazon SWF automatically scales the resource along with our application users. There is a no manual administration of the workflow service required when we add more cloud workflow or increase the complexity of the workflow. Amazon SWF runs at Amazon's highly available data center, which is their reliability. Therefore, the streets the tracking is provided whenever applications need them. Amazon SWS stores the tasks, send them to their respective application components, keep a track on their progress. Third is logical separation. So, 
Amazon SWS provides a logical separation between the control flow of our background job stepwise logical and the actual units of work that contains business logic. Due to the logical separation, we can separately manage, maintain and scale street machinery of our application from the business logic. According to the change in the business requirement, we can easily manage the business logic without having or without worrying about the street machinery, task dispatch and flow control. Fourth is simple. Amazon SWF completely replaces the complexity of the old workflow solutions and process automation workflow with new cloud workflow. Internet services, it eliminates the need of the developers to manage automation process so that we can focus on the unique functionality of the application. And finally, the flexibility. Amazon SWF allows us to modify the application component that we can modify the application logic in any programming language and run them within the cloud or on our premises. So this is about whole idea of SWF. Let's recap this. We have started with definition of SWF discussed in detail about different components of the SWS, how it deals with that how it is working and then we have created one SWS component inside our AWS login credential and we have already discussed about one example of SWF how the customer is approaching for any product and that product will deliver in different steps and finally we have discussed about the feature. So, this is all about SWF. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.